A citrus fruit grower receives $15 for each crate of oranges shipped and $18 for each crate of grapefruit shipped. How many crates of oranges did the grower ship last week? Well, I'm going to introduce a few variables. I'm going to say A is the number of orange crates shipped and B is the number of grapefruit crates shipped. And what we'd like to find out, ultimately the question is asking for the value of A. We'd like to figure out the value of that variable. So statement number one tells us, last week the number of crates of oranges that the grower shipped was 20 more than twice the number of crates of grapefruit shipped. All right, hold on a second. Let's slow down and translate that into algebra. The number of crates of oranges, A, was equals 20 more than, 20 plus twice the number, so two times the number of grapefruit, and that's variable B. So we have one equation here with two unknowns. Unfortunately, to solve, you'd need two equations with two unknowns. Whenever you have one equation with one unknown, that is always insufficient. So statement number one by itself is insufficient. So now let's ignore statement number one and consider statement number two. Statement number two. Last week, the grower received a total of $38,700 from the crates of oranges and grapefruit shipped. Okay, so what that means is for every crate of oranges he ships, he gets $15. So 15 times A is the amount of money he made from oranges. 18 times B is the amount of money he made from grapefruit. And together, these add up to 38,700. So again, we have two unknowns, only one equation. So by itself, we cannot solve for either of the variables and this is insufficient. Both statements by themselves are insufficient. So now we look at the combined statement, statement number one and statement number two. Well, now what we have is two equations with two unknowns. Well, when you have two equations with two unknowns, you're always able to solve. And so without actually doing any algebra, all we need to recognize, two equations, two unknowns, we'd be able to answer the question. That is sufficient. And so that means the answer is C.